Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hanksters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down. We leave them up between not only our Daytona Beach location, but our Homer City PA store as well. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that particular unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it is no longer available for sale and has been sold. Hankstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories all over the United States, more importantly, we install them. So if you are in the market for a AC system for your classic ride, power steering, power brakes, uh, custom headers, custom exhaust, uh, different interior, uh, upgraded dash, you know, we can do all of that stuff for you prior to your vehicle leaving. That way, or this way, when it gets to you wherever you might be located at, it's turnkey, ready to go just to your liking, and you don't have to send it somewhere as soon as you get your nice new ride and have it done, because it's already done when it shows up. Hankster's Garage, for those of you that are local to us here in Central Florida, 2385 South Ridgewood in South Daytona. Cool car today, we don't have many of these coming through our showroom, but this is the right one. It is a 1966 big block Chevrolet Caprice. Uh, this one has a 396. So uh, we'll take a look under the hood here and show you the options this vehicle has, and then we'll show you the vehicle in its entirety. Uh, call tag up there on the uh, uh, driver's side of the call area. Uh, when you break that down, it's gonna tell you the car started uh, life black with a red interior and started life as a big block car, which everything uh, this car currently is. It's not the numbers matching motor, but it is uh, uh, a period correct 396. Uh, power brakes, that big uh, brake booster in the back there, that is power brakes. Uh, you got a power steering reservoir buried down there underneath the alternator, and then you have, yes, AC. That is an AC compressor, and the AC in this car does work. So, big block, steering, brakes, air. Black with red gut, great car. I'll state it again, black. So let's take a look at the black paint since on classic cars or on any car for that matter, black paint has a tendency to want to show any imperfections more than most colors. Uh, the, uh, the paint on the hood is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the uh, color is uniform, the clear is uniform. Uh, no bubbles, cracks, blisters, anything like that going on. Same thing with the tops of the fenders, both driver's side and passenger side uh, in pretty nice condition. Let's take a look at the grill. Uh, grill on the car is in good shape. Chrome on the front bumpers in great shape. Good stuff. So 396. Uh, it is uh, designated on the driver's side front fender in the form of that 396 V-shaped flag logo. Uh, so the driver's side front fender also has that wheel opening molding on it, as uh, do the rest of the wheels. Uh, all four corners have the uh, chrome wheel opening molding. Uh, it's installed correctly and the chrome on it is in nice shape. Uh, so you got the Caprice badge there on the driver's side front fender and then uh, we'll get a shot low here uh, beneath the uh, Caprice logo to show you the paint on the car down low. Uh, really nice paint uh, throughout the entire car. Uh, no blisters, cracks, bubbling, anything like that going on down low or up high. Uh, the uh, BFGs, raised white letter BFGs, we have beauty rings and your rally wheels, center caps. Everything looks to be in pretty good shape. How about glass clarity? Uh, first, let's start with the front windshield. Uh, front windshield's nice and clear, uh, no cracks, no chips, uh, in pretty nice condition. The uh, chrome molding that encompasses the uh, front windshield also uh, in nice condition. Uh, glass, vent window glass, uh, driver door glass, rear quarter glass, all uh, clarity is pretty good on the vehicle. Um, does have a driver's side mirror. Um, so this is a big long car. Uh, and the body lines on the car are fantastic. We'll show you more of those here as we get a different angle as we approach the rear quarter of the driver's side of the vehicle. But for now, let's talk about door fitment. Um, to the front fender, to the rear quarter, uh, looks to be in uh, good shape. Uh, all the uh, Door fitment there on the driver's side, top of the fender, top of the rear quarter, all the way down, down to your rocker. Everything looks to you uh, fit rather nicely. Do have a, an aluminum uh, rocker molding down there. Uh, also looks to be in pretty good shape down low. Take a look inside the car where we have an excellent color combination. 
Uh, the driver door uh, in real nice condition. The door panel, uh, wood grain, um, armrest, everything's in nice shape. Uh, the back seat. You do have OEM seat belts back there. Uh, both uh, driver's side and passenger side of the rear seat there look to be in good shape. Um, floor mats in the car are brand new. Uh, the carpeting underneath the uh, floor mat, uh, there is a little tiny wear mark there on the uh, driver's side rear. It's not torn through or anything, just a little uh, light on the fabric there in the one area. Uh, seat back is in pretty good shape. Steering wheel looks to be in great condition. The uh, front floor mat, once again, same as the uh, rears, they're brand new. We put them in there. Uh, the carpeting, I'm not going to pull this whole big, huge floor mat out, but you guys get the idea. In nice, pretty nice condition. Um, it, it does look like older carpeting, however, it's not heavily stained or torn, um, but it's definitely not brand new carpet. But they are brand new floor mats. Headliner in the car in really nice condition, uh, as well as you see back there, no sail panels. Uh, in the rear, the uh, lights do illuminate when I open up the driver's door, not only in the sail panels, but also in the floor underneath the driver's side and passenger side portions of the dash. Uh, the driver's side seat here is in pretty nice shape. Um, there is a little uh, button missing off of uh, the driver's side seat there. Um, it was here. Uh, somehow it disappeared. Uh, so we're going to get a new one of those, and we're just going to pop that on real quick. Uh, the, the, the metal portion is there. It's just that the actual uh, red button portion must have got lost in detail or service or something like that. So uh, we have a new one coming, and we're going to pop that on. So that's no big deal. Um, I can't stress to you enough how nice the body lines on this car are. You know, if there's going to be... Uh, any kind of deviation in rear quarters, uh, driver doors, passenger doors, front fenders, you know, it's going to be on a larger car. Uh, the larger the line of the car, the more chance you have or the more margin for error. So, uh, you know, real, real nice. Uh, hopefully the camera angle here gives you a good shot of exactly how nice this car is down the side. It's nice and straight. A uh, really fantastic uh, piece of equipment we have here. The uh, rear window glass. Uh, real nice and clear. Uh, chrome is uh, installed properly. Of course, with a big car, a long car, uh, a, a car with large rear quarters, you have a large deck lid to go with it. So um, we'll talk about two things. Uh, number one, the paint. Uh, so the paint on the uh, deck lid in real nice shape um, as well, just like the uh, hood was and the tops of the fenders and stuff like that. Uh, and then, of course, your uh, deck lid fitment to the rear quarters. Um, real nice, uh, fits flush there to the uh, driver's side and passenger side rear quarters. Chrome on the rear bumper is in real nice shape. Um, no uh, heavy pitting, um, no uh, rust, uh, no uh, chrome peel, anything like that. The car was in Texas at one point in its life, uh, so uh, we, we didn't, you know, that, that emblem was on there when we bought it. We bought the car in Florida, not in Texas, but obviously it was there at one point, which is probably why it has air conditioning and uh, is highly optioned, because you need AC in Texas and Florida. Trunk, it's big and it's empty. That's because there's no jack and there's no spare. There is a trunk mat. Um, underneath the trunk is fantastic, or underneath the trunk mat is fantastic. Uh, real nice and solid, uh, no issues there. Trunk mat's brand new. Uh, no history on the car. When was the car painted? We do not know. When was the motor and transmission rebuilt? We don't have that history either. So uh, we're disclosing to you in this video presentation what we do know about the car. I can tell you that the passenger side is just as straight as the driver's side. Um, all kidding aside, it's a really nice car, um, both interior and exterior. But again, I think what leaves you most speechless or, or really takes your breath away is the fact that for such a big automobile, um, how nice the panels are, the rear quarter, the driver door, passenger door, front fenders. I already stated that once, but I'm stating it again because I see a lot of cars, I look at a lot of cars, sell a lot of cars, buy a lot of cars, and uh, this car has uh, really nice body lines on it. 
Uh, so once again, our BFG is in good shape. The uh, uh, beauty rings, rally wheels, center caps, everything's in nice condition. Uh, the uh, chrome wheel opening moldings all put on properly. The uh, glass, vent window glass, driver door glass, rear quarter glass, all nice and uh, clear. You know, it's uh, really, really nice condition, uh, you know, the glass. Uh, no uh, heavy scratching, no heavy, uh, like, hard water stains, anything going on like that. How about the passenger side? Uh, same thing, uh, door panel, real nice shape, armrest. All your chrome on your, uh, like, your door handle and your window cranks and your vent window cranks, uh, all in nice condition, uh, not heavily pitted or, you know, distorted. It's pretty nice shape. Uh, passenger side seat, uh, again, not ripped, not torn. Uh, none of the seat cushions are heavily uh, worn. Uh, we'll find out on the test drive the air works. Um, last time I was in it, it does. We'll find out if it still does. Uh, center console has wood grain on it. The wood grain's in nice shape. Uh, it is an automatic car. Again, look at that. Door closes nicely there to the rear quarter. It's nice and flush. It doesn't protrude out past the quarter panel. We will pan slowly the bottom of the passenger side fender, the bottom of the passenger side door, and of course the bottom of the uh, passenger side rear quarter. Uh, no paint issues down there. It's a, it's a fantastic paint job. I would say at least an 8.5 out of 10. Some of you may give it a 9, some of you may give it an 8, but you can't give it any less than an 8 because it's really uh, a fantastic paint uh, job on the car. It, it, you know, base coat, clear coat, it is definitely, uh, you know, uh, 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 it was an expensive paint job. I don't know if it was painted in uh, 2002 or 2010 or, you know, I don't know, but I can tell you the paint on the car, you don't have to do anything to it except wipe it off with a rag. That's about it, because flat cars get dusty quickly. Everything we are doing in this video presentation, you can do yourself when you visit our Daytona showroom, which is what I encourage you to do. We are in the business of selling 30, 40, 50 year old vehicles. Myself and my sales staff are very familiar with these cars. We are in them every day, around them every day. I am personally buying, selling, looking at cars every single day, working on cars. Um, so I can tell you quite a bit about them. Um, however, you may not be as familiar. So when you visit our showroom, we'll gladly take the car outside for you. You can look at the paint real good in the sunshine. Pop the hood, pop the trunk, let you look at the motor, look at the uh, interior condition. We have two racks here. We'd be more than happy to put it up in the air for you if you'd like to see the car underneath. We can let you look at the floor pans, bottom of the motor, transmission, suspension, uh, tires, steering components. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car feels, how it rides, handles, steers, stops, starts, all that. Is that enough SS for you? All that stuff. Um, this way, when the car shows up to you, wherever you might be in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. In addition to that, we will talk to you about owning one of these classics. So, uh, you know, a lot, we get asked the question, about what kind of oil do we use? You know, um, you don't run anything but premium gas through these things. Uh, you know, different things like that. How to store them, how to properly charge the battery if you're not going to drive it for a couple days or a couple weeks. You know, things like that. We'll, we'll go over all that with you. We do a lot of sight unseen business. I have sold cars, three and four cars to people to this day I've never met in person. What's cool is a lot of people stop in our showroom who I've sold cars to two, three, four years ago and say hello. Hey, remember I bought that such and such? Oh yeah, I remember that, you know, how you doing? I still have it, you know. It's cool, it's, uh, you engage in conversation, you get to meet some people that you've talked to extensively through email or over the phone, so it makes it nice. But we do the majority of our business sight unseen. We're all busy, right? Uh, the lifestyle you have today calls for you to be at work or you have a business that you're running or you have a family you can't get away from or, or whatever your circumstances are. So we have been conducting internet-based business for over 20 years in our uh, PA facility and over eight years here in Daytona and we've moved a lot of units in that time frame. Um, however, nobody's a better ju judge of how to spend your hard-earned dollar than you are and this is why I encourage you to come in person and let us show you the car in its entirety. Take our 66 Caprice outside. We'll put it up in the air. We'll check out the undercarriage for you folks. And then we will take it on a test drive to show you how the car runs out. 
underneath our 1966 Chevrolet Caprice. And let me tell you something, this car is as nice underneath as it is up top. Disc brakes up front. So before we get a, front, a, a shot of the front seal, let's check out the driver's side of the pan. Okay, not only are the freeze plugs nice up there, but also your pan gasket's nice and dry. And then let's look at the passenger side. Uh, you got a mini starter, so it gets a good shot of the oil pan gasket there. Front seal looks to be in good shape on the motor. The rest of the uh, oil pan is kind of blocked by that big cross member, but uh, motor looks nice and dry at this time from what we can tell. Moving back uh, on the vehicle, does have a set of dual headers. Flywheel is covered. Uh, so when you have tranny leaks on your classic car, we're going to show you the areas to check. First, you check your trans pan gasket. This one is dry at this time. Next, you do your speedo cable. It's about a uh, 20 cent O-ring in that little thing. You just unthread it, put a new O-ring on, thread it back up. Um, then your tail shaft seal, which on this particular car is blocked by the cross member, but uh, I can see that it's nice and dry at this time. Driver's side and passenger side frame rails of this car are in good shape. So are the floor pans, all one solid piece. Driver's side and passenger side floor pans, uh, no uh, patching, no uh, silicone, no tiger hair, no fiberglass, no <laughs> roofing material, whatever else people use in the backyard to uh, do backyard body work. This car is in good shape. Um, exhaust system. So uh, off the headers, you have your dual pipes and dual mufflers. Uh, welds are nice on the exhaust. And then uh, no rust holes, rod holes, pin holes, anything going on in the pipes nor in the mufflers. Continuing back on the vehicle, frame rails. They go up over the rear end of the car and continue all the way back to our rear bumper. The uh, floor pans in the car that are, you know, where the trunk area meets your trunk pan, back seat, and all that combined there. Uh, everything's in nice shape, no rust, no rot. Uh, also, that go up over the rear end are your exhaust pipes, and those are uh, bent nicely, and then they go up over the, exhaust, uh, over the rear end. Uh, once again, no rust, rot, pinholes, uh, gas tank's not collapsed in, caved in. You have a 12-volt rear to pair with that 396 up front. How about uh, tires? Your BFGs have plenty of tread depth, and then they have no uh, dry rot or crack uh, between the treads. Um, they're in good shape. We're going to take this uh, down on the ground, the 66 Caprice, and we're going to take it on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. Before we do that, let's talk about how to pay for this thing. If you're a cash buyer, we do take cashier's check from your bank. More commonly, our uh, preferred method of payment is bank wire. Push the funds there the same day. The faster we get paid, the faster we can start preparing your car for shipment. They are done in the order that they are funded. Collector car lenders. We work with a couple different ones that will offer you 5 to 15 year terms on this particular car. 10% down is going to be the minimum required down payment. So if you're talking about a $50,000 car, you're talking about five grand out of pocket. You can put down 10, 15, 20, 30,000 bucks if you want to. However, um, they're going to require a minimum of 10%. Doesn't matter if your credit score is 9,000. Once the vehicle is paid in full, we put the vehicle through an inspection process for outgoing shipment. Process includes things like checking lug nut torque, checking tire pressure, checking, uh, make sure the wipers work, tail lights work, brake lights, reverse lights, high beams, low beams, all that stuff. They're old cars. Anything can happen at any time. Anything can stop working. Anything can start leaking. So we put it through one last shakedown and give it the green light prior to it making its way to you. If we're the ones handling the shipping, we can usually have a carrier dispatched for pickup within 48 hours. Delivery time is going to be, of course, based on a number of things. You know, how many cars are on board. Um, you know, they have to be delivered in between our showroom and your home or business. Uh, you know, driver sleep times, weather conditions, holidays, um, you know, things like that. 
but I promise you we get you your car quickly. Once we're paid, uh, the process is inspection, detail, dispatch, gone. If you're the ones shipping it, whether you're picking it up, sending your own carrier, picking it up on a trailer, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can come get it or send for it. Let's set our 66 Caprice down on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and we'll show you how the car runs out. Well, inside of our 66 Caprice, we have ice cold air. So it's probably 86, 87 in Daytona today and we are going to do this whole test drive with the windows up. Fuel gauge works and it's three quarters. It'll probably be empty by the time we get back from our three mile test drive. 79,809 is the mileage on the odometer. Title reads exempt, true miles unknown. Clock does not work. We don't fix clocks and we don't fix radios. The radio, I don't know, it's, it, you can hear it, but it's just got static. So I don't know, again, we don't fix the radio. So let's say the radio doesn't work. Horn, that works. Uh, passenger side turn signal. Driver's side turn signal. So both of them work. I, I, I don't know if you guys can see it with the sun glare. I can barely see them sitting here, but they do uh, They do work, driver and passenger side. Uh, gauges, battery, oil pressure, temperature, we'll keep an eye on because it is a big block car. Um, told you in the showroom, it's a uh, center console automatic. Center console's in pretty decent shape. Got a couple scratches right there. Uh, nothing big though. Steering wheel is in fantastic condition. Usually these uh, Impala and Caprice steering wheels are all cracked up. And this one's in pretty nice shape. Um, dash pad's in real good shape. Your wood grain on your glove box area is in nice condition. Oh, let's do the wipers. Wipers work. Um, I think that's it, right? We did horn, turn signals, AC's blowing cold, wipers for idling nice, uh, fuel gauge works, clock doesn't work, headliner's in great shape. This is a cool car. Let's see how the car rides, runs, drives, steers, handles, all that stuff. Take it on the drive. Nice car. Speedo's working. Look at how steady that uh, speedometer is. I mean, we have pretty tight steering, I guess. You know, it's a big car, so you have to, you know, it takes a little bit to move it. Uh, the car rides real nice and smooth. Uh, the transmission shifts absolutely fantastic. You know, 40 miles an hour, no hands on the wheel. The car has a nice smooth ride. Steering wheels lined up nice and straight. It's not uh, off center. There is no, um, any kind of uh, shimmies from the tires, uh, any kind of engine or drivetrain vi vibration, uh, drive shaft vibration, anything like that. Our temp's good, we're not even, uh, once again, we're running the AC, which is ice, ice cold by the way, real nice AC in this car. Um, so we're running the AC and uh, it's 86, 87 degrees here in Florida right now. We've got a big block car that's 50 years old, you know, and uh, it's running like it should, blowing nice cold air and uh, running running at a good temp. We'll bang it through a couple gears here, try to get it to 50, 60 miles an hour, show you that it can get up that fast without uh, blowing up. And uh, yeah, so the car shifts, it just shifted, it's gonna shift again here in a little bit, but you know, it shifts real nice, it's just shifted again. Look at that, 60 miles an hour, 55, car tracks nice and straight, 55 miles an hour, no hands on the wheel. It's a really nice ride. You have nice paint, you have a great interior, you have AC, power steering, power brakes, wipers working, horns working, AC's blowing ice cold. I'm sure somebody that has more patience than I do can get that radio to work because you got sound out of the speaker, so the speaker's hooked up, so just have a connection issue there of some sort. Real nice car, though. Um, we don't get a lot of these through the showroom. Uh, we bought it off somebody here uh, in Daytona, 
and uh, you know it was a nice car, so we bought it. And we're gonna move it on to the uh, next owner that's gonna get themselves a really nice vehicle. 1960. Look at that stopping, no pulsation or vibration out of the brakes. Car's idling nice. We're not overheating. Good stuff. We are getting ourselves a strong inventory here in Daytona. We got a problem. We sell good cars quickly, which is a good problem to have, but when you're in our business, when you sell them, you got to replace them if you want to stay in business. So um, good cars are hard to find, and for those of you out there that are collectors, you already know this, or if you're looking for a specific car, you know this, well, you have yourself a good car here in this 1966 Chevy Caprice. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car, along with this video presentation you're watching right now. The full retail price, our 66 Caprice, includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It does not cover batteries, brakes, starters, alternators, gasket leaks. If the AC stops blowing cold, it doesn't cover that. It just covers major mechanical breakdowns of your drivetrain. The warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, so you can probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. ASE is just a recognition for a reputable auto repair facility. It means you can't take it to your best friend, Joe, that tells you, bring that 396 over and a six pack of beer. I know what I'm doing. But you can probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver because most uh, franchised and independent repair facilities are ASC certified. Is the price of the car negotiable? Most certainly it is within reason. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. There are no exceptions to that, so you don't have to bother asking that question. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money, and there's time. In, there's a time investment in shipping. You have to vest the carrier, make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, insured. You have to set up the pickup. You have to arrange the delivery. You have to pay the driver when they show up. You have to keep track of where the car's at. At negotiated cost, you're gonna do all that stuff yourself. Maybe you have a carrier you've used in the past, you had a good experience with, great, use them. If not, we have a broker that we can put you on to that will help you facilitate that shipping. Of course, maybe you are a collector and you have your own open or enclosed trailer. That's cool too. Come make it a couple day trip here in Daytona. Check out our showroom that we just pulled into. Um, you know, check out our uh, collection here. Grab yourself a car. Maybe spend a couple days here in Daytona. And a lot of cool eateries on the water. Go get yourself a beer and a burger. Check out maybe some live music. And of course, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can drive this thing home because it has ice cold air. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in the Sunshine State, Daytona Beach, Florida. And once again, our website is hangsters.com. Check us out. We'd love to earn your business.